I bought one of these garage in a box tarp garage things. And of course you're supposed to put anchors in. Now according to the instructions, you're supposed to put the anchors in before you put the tarps up and all that. But due to the weather, I needed to get the tarp up because it was sunny then, rain was coming in. So I put the tarp up. But that's not the point of this video at all. The point of this video is I made a little tool to run these ground anchors in using my impact gun. So I'll just show you running in an anchor here and then I'll show you a little close up of the tool. I'm actually going to leave this footage real time here. That way you know just how fast it goes in. So it might be a little boring sitting here watching it, but it's quick. I went into the butcher shop the other day to buy some meat. And he was kind of busy. And I said, well, do you have the cuts I want? And he said, yes. They're up there on that shelf. You can just get them if you want. And I said, I can't. He said, why not? I said, because the stakes are too high. If you cut a minute steak into 60 pieces, then can everyone have seconds? And speaking of steaks, why did the farmer have to put bells on his cows? Because their horns didn't work. To make this was pretty easy. I just cut two pieces of strap iron and rounded off the tops here. Welded it to this plate. This is half inch spacing for these anchors, so I actually put a half inch flat bar in between them, clamped them together, welded them on here. Uh, then drilled a little over half inch hole in there. And this is a socket. This specific socket size happens to be three quarter inch with a half inch drive, but it doesn't matter which size you use. This one actually split on me because it's just a cheap, cheap socket. And uh, so, you know, it works perfect in here. Drilled a hole through this top plate, the size of the socket, and weld it on there. I did grind off the uh, chrome polish stuff before I put the weld to it. And this is just MIG, no special wire, nothing. It'll hold to that socket just fine. And MIG here too. So that's all that is. Pretty simple to make. I think you could make this with basic power tools really fast. So, and then the bolt is uh, to keep it from sliding out of the loop of the anchor. And one more piece of advice here. I want to use the half inch air impact gun. And it's quite a long hose run back to my air compressor in the shop. Uh, I didn't bring my little portable air compressor out because it really doesn't keep up with my impact very well. So what I did is I got a 25 foot hose go into an expansion tank right here. So basically this means I've only got a 25 foot run of hose from this tank to my gun. And then I've got a long hose that goes from this tank into my big compressor in the shop. And this truly increases your capacity to run your gun. Uh, when I let off the trigger of the gun, you can actually hear this tank refilling because that hose going to my compressor is so long that it restricts the airflow. So having this expansion tank really close to my gun is huge. All right. I'm sure you're bored of this video by now. Let's get back on to your life.